Evening everybody. Welcome to my Wednesday night card making live session. So tonight, we'll just wait for a few people to join and we will get started. These are the two cards that we're going to be making this evening. Um, lots of fun. We're going to get a little bit messy. So this one here is really straightforward. We've got a little bit of watercolouring going on. Right, I'm just going to try and get comments. Okay, there we have comments. Um, and I'm going to use the new Playful Alphabet dies and the foam adhesive sheets, which are also new, which I'm just going to try and grab the packet to show you for now. Okay, so the, this is basically a whole sheet of stamping dimensionals and you can die cut them out so they are going to be super fun um, so these you get six sheets in the packet and they are amazing in love with those use them for the first time tonight and here I'm going to show you the new watercolor brushes how cool is this watercolor brush it's amazing I love it so we're gonna make a couple of masculine cards um, as we know it's Father's Day this weekend and it's always tricky to make masculine cards so I'm just going to show you how to use kind of what you've got um, yeah, and a couple of handy techniques to create some backgrounds. So let's get cracking. Hi to everyone who's joining. There's lots of you on tonight. Wow. Exciting. So shall we make this green one first? So we will need... Dum, 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 dum. Let's pop you to one side. We'll pop you over there so you can kind of see. So I have a card base. And this is Just Jade, which is one of the new ink colours. I have Pretty Peacock, which is one of last year's ink colours. Um, and that's valid for another year. And I have a piece here of the Fluid 100 watercolour paper. No mum, the card is not for dad. Um, I've already got him one. Maybe handmade, it maybe not. So we have watercolour paper. Now this measures... Um, I have to get the measurements for you afterwards, they're over behind me on my desk. Um, but basically this is half a sheet of the watercolour paper. And that will be our inside. And then for the inside, I have the same piece of Pretty Peacock again, and then just some white cardstock. And I've actually mounted that together already. So to start with, we just need this piece of one, Fluid 100 watercolour paper. I'm just grabbing a little spritzer. Oh dear. So I've just got here a little spritzer. Now the idea with this is, before we do anything, we're just going to make the card a little bit wet. Um, it helps to absorb the water a bit better. And I'm using Pretty Peacock ink to match the card. So I will need, where are you? You're here somewhere on my desk. Do you know what? I thought I brought everything over and now I can't see for looking. No, I have it. It's behind me. Dearie me. I get my steps in tonight, girls and boys. Right, so I'm using this block. Okay. And this block is slightly wider than our card, which is fine. We need that. And so I'm not using, to create this strip here, I'm not using a stamp. I'm using the block. So for this... Put an extra sheet of um, grid paper down this is one of the smaller ones and we're just going to spritz our card really lightly okay so for that we're just going to quite literally take our block to our ink pad and you get a lovely little block of color now i'm using just some water and a normal paintbrush just blending that so the harsh lines are gone and you can see we're just making sure that's nice and inky okay now this is the fun bit we're going to turn this over and push it down onto our card and try and get it in a straight line so ready one two three okay and then what we're going to do is we're just going to push so that the ink is sucked into the card okay so I'm going to leave that 
like it is i don't want to move that because i want it to dry a little bit before we move it so because we've got that extra piece of grip, piece of grid paper we can just move that out of the way and i will show you a bit more of that in a while so the next thing we need to do is we need to cut out our letters so i have here this is some of the flowers for every season dsp designer series paper I've gone for quite a plain one. On the other side, you've got this lovely floral. Um, and we're going to cut out our letters with this, which, surprise, surprise, are behind me. What is going on tonight? Right. So here we have our letters. So just find these. And luckily, there are two Ps, which means you can cut out your happy in one wheel of your big shot okay so let's just bring this in i'm going to bring my big shot in so you can see this in full of it i'm just going to bring my camera up two seconds that's it so all i'm doing is i've got my dsp and i've got my letters so i'm just placing these on my dsp trying to do it so that the letters are all in the same direction so that way the pattern will be the same direction on our letters okay so just wheel that through and we can pop these out We're going to do this again, but with our, um, what was I going to say? We'll do this again with the, I can't think of what they're called, the foam adhesive sheets, that's it. They're new, I'll blame that, that I can't get my words out tonight. Okay, so just popping the DSP out of these dies right here. And then, okay, so now we bring in our foam adhesive sheet. And all we do, quite literally, is we pop our dies on. And at first I wasn't sure how this would wheel through the big shot, but actually, because it's squishy, it goes through really nicely. Okay, so I popped those on my foam adhesive sheet. we will through so that you do get a little bit more resistance there because it is thicker than obviously a piece of card but it's amazing so then these you can see they're on the back i'm gonna bring my camera back down now that's better okay so these just pop out so how fab is this careful not to pull off the the backing there we are he's out so, so this these are great because it now means you don't have to spend time cutting up all those little pieces of dimensionals to fit onto your small dies okay so i'm just putting my letters back on here because for those that know me too well if i don't put them on I will lose them. Okay. So there are just like that. So I'll put them behind me. And then we can start building. Oh, let's bring this back in. We can start putting our letters together. So now all I'm going to do, you'll see this is dried now. If we just take that off, we're left with this lovely strip of colour. Now this hasn't quite gone to the edge but actually that's fine because it's a handmade card and, and the great thing about watercolour is every time it will be different so just embrace it i could blend that across a bit more but i think you'd lose the the effect so i'm not going to do that so now what we can do is we can mount this onto our piece of pretty peacock and for that i'm just using some tombow and as usual my tombow is 
almost out. I think there's another one there. Yeah, there is. Ah, oh, that's better. Okay. So this is a great way to kind of to create your watercolouring, just to use what you have. And obviously it will work with, with any shape. You could blend a couple of different colours at the same time um, and get a bit of a blend there. Or you could just go with one colour. So now what I found with these little foam letters, the trick is to put the foam on first. Okay, so I'm starting with my letter over here. So then we know we're going to have enough room. And make sure you're sticking them on the right way. Yeah. Oh, not like me, I've peeled both backs off, both pieces off. Okay, so that's there. Pull the right side off first. You might get something else. And all these little pieces that pop out, you can keep those because they will just act as sticky pads for when you need them. And then this one here, last H. So there we have that stuck on just like so. Now we can peel the tops off. And all we do is we match up our letters. So how cool is that? I love it. I think I may be obsessed with these. I'm obsessed with dimensionals anyway. So I'm super pleased that they... So Esther, these adhesive sheets are brand new in this year's catalogue, so you can buy them in the catalogue. I will double check the price for you. Oh dear. This P is doing my head in now. It's because I have taken both sides off. Right, so now let's put this one on. Ta-da! Okay. Phew, that worked okay. And then lastly, we have this lovely Y. So there we have our happy. And we can mount that onto our card front now. So this is a piece of Just Jade cardstock. It's half a sheet of A4, which will give us an A5 piece folded in half for our card base. Okay. And then to create our sentiment, I have here the rest of our sentiment. Sorry, so we've got happy. I'm then going to stamp birthday. So this stamp is from the Well Said stamp set. And I'm stamping in Knight of Navy. So let's just stamp on some Whisper White. And then to cut that out, I'm going to use the classic label punch for you. And I do want the banner left on. So this lines up really well with this punch, these words. Um, you get a lovely just gap between the top of the, between the edge of the piece and the, the word so just pop that out with a little squeeze and then we can stick this on so actually what i've done on this card i've just added a little bit of watercolor spritzing so we can do that actually all i'm doing is i'm picking up a little bit of ink from there and then tapping really gently to get some water okay so we just need to let that dry and then this birthday we're going to stick that down flat like so just so that a little bit of it hangs off the edge and then to finish i have some in color enamel dots 
and I'm using the Misty Moonlight ones because it's almost navy, isn't it? Misty Moonlight. And I'm going to stick one up here and then one just down here on the birthday. So there we have our card front. Really super simple block stamping there. For inside, we can just stick this down. Hope I picked up the right Tombow. Here we have. And just mine because that watercolour, the splot, the splashes is still a bit damp. So there we have that inside. So we have card number one that I made earlier, card number two. So with this one, the reason there's quite a lot of difference in colour, I must have let put more ink on this one than I did on this one. There's probably more water here. Okay, so that's card number one finished for you this evening. Just pop that behind me. And now we can bring in card number two. So card number two, you've, those of you that would have joined me last week, you'd have seen me creating some stripes. Um, I adore stripes in every sense of the word, on clothes, on wool, just everything. I love stripes. So I have been waiting for my new watercolour brushes to come. For the last few years, we've had aqua painters and you get two in a pack. But now we have these lovely watercolour painters. So you get three. You get one that is super, super fine. You get one that is a bit thicker. And then my absolute favourite is this. So that is what I've used to create these beautiful stripes. So we're going to make those tonight. So I believe they're around £11 for three. Um... I'll put all the detail, all the links up to product um, for you afterwards. And they come in a really nice little handy packet. So I think they will be really popular. They are a lot longer than the previous ones. So they hold quite a bit more water, which gets my vote as well. So for this card, I'm going to move my messy ink block out of the way. For this card, I have a Knight of Navy card base. I have a piece of watercolour card. And a piece of white that we're going to cut it up and mount it together because you'll see obviously that there these are three strips but we started with a continuous piece so we will need our piece of watercolor paper i have here a silicone mat so this is really good for watercoloring and i'm using some knight of navy um, ink from a refill so I could use the ink from the top of my ink pad, but I want the colour to be really dark, really vivid. So it's better to use the watercolour mat. So just squeeze, give your watercolour brush a little squeeze and you can see the water just starting to bubble there. Can you see that? Just there. And then we're just going to mix our colour in with just a bit of water. If you need a bit of water, just bring that in from your pot. And then this is what we're going to do. Where's my piece? Here. Always give yourself an extra piece of grid paper underneath because you don't want the water to soak through onto your desk. So now we're just going to work from all the way along. How lovely is this? That ink is so vivid. Went a bit wonky on that third stripe. And it's holding all that ink really, really nicely. How amazing. I am obsessed. Look at that. How amazing is that? So now I'm just going to give it a little dry because we're filming and I want to use this. I'm just going to dry it. So to dry it, just use your heat tool. Hold it down flat and just go across it with your heat tool until you see that ink dry. Okay. So it will dry. This watercolour paper is really, really good. So it will dry really quickly. with that let's just give a little touch yeah that looks quite 
quite dry now. Okay, so look at those stripes. They look really, really professional, except my wonky one. Um, and it's it's done amazing. Adore that. So if you have those watercolour brushes on your wish list, great. If you don't, I would put them on there, guys, because they are amazing. Right, so now we're going to need our trimmer. Uh, let's put this little messy bit out of the way so that we don't get even more messy. We're going to cut this up now. So this measures 8.9 centimetres. So I'm going to cut three inch strips, three, three inch, three centimetre strips. So we'll have one that's just a millimetre smaller. Getting to the stage where I need a new blade in my trimmer. So we've got three centimetres. Shopping list is getting longer. Sorry about that. Right, so we have our lovely three inch, th three inch, three centimetres, dearie me. Okay, and then now we can bring in our piece of Whisper White. And then these are going to be placed back on, leaving a little bit of a gap between, like so. It's just another way to break up your, to add another layer in. And then this is just being stuck on with some Tombow. Plug my phone in because it's telling me my battery is running low. We don't want that to happen, do we? Okay, so that's one. And when you're doing this, obviously remember to put them back on in the right order, or your stripes will look a bit wonky. Okay, so now we have that lovely piece. Isn't that nice? I think that's really, really effective, really nice technique that is. So then this is being mounted onto the front of our card front. Just like so. Okay. And then for our design, we have, I'm using some of the pieces from the Geared Up Garage stamp set and dies that have been around for a few years now. Um, and to be honest, I don't really use them. I use this quite a lot. But I don't really use much of that. I don't know why, um, but I'm going to use it today. Okay, so I'm going to use one of the cog dies, which is really fab. And I'm cutting that out of Smoky Slate cardstock. So I'll just do that behind me. I won't keep bringing the big shot in because it does make the desk shake. And I've cut quite a few bits already. I'll bring that back in for you so you can see it. So this die, give it a little tap in case it will come out and it will. There we go. So this die is really fab. Just pop all the little pieces out. So. For those last stubborn little bits, just use your um, pokey tool or the tip of your scissors to just pop those last few bits out. And then we're going to cut it in half because I don't want to use all of that. So I'm going to cut that there and then half of that. So this, the idea of this is we're going to layer this under. So that will go onto there. So this I can stick down straight away and I can use stamping dimensionals or I can just use a lovely little strip of these foam sheets, the adhesive sheets. Clever, eh? 
So for this, I'm just going to pop a little bit of, just a few little dots of glue on the larger areas, like so. Okay, and then now we can put our square on. So this square comes from the stitched shape styles, <clears throat> and you get squares rectangle squares ovals and circles and they're really handy so we have that like so and now to use another couple of dies we have this one but before we die cut that we need to stamp so on my desk i should have some scrap white I do but it's not big enough so let me just get some scrap white some scrap white here. Just moving that tie out of the way. So we'll bring in the stamp looks like this and it says best dad. And we're going to stamp in Knight of Navy. So we're carrying on with our Knight of Navy theme. And I'm stamping this in the middle. And it's got like a vintagey sort of look to it. It's got like some crackle. So this die goes round like so to get that little banner. So we'll just quickly die that so I cut that out for us. Okay. So then this die it pops out that little piece and then you get this lovely extra bit go like so and then last but not least we need this one so this I'm going to go and cut out of some Knight of Navy this just helps give a bit more definition to it. So these guys are quite handy. You get quite a lot in the packet. Um, they're great for kind of car fanatics. Um, so this one, the way this now works is we're going to pop this one on here. Just adding a teeny bit of glue, like so, and then this goes onto the Knight of Navy, leaving a little border. Can you see that? And then this one goes back inside. All right, you could raise that if you wanted to, but as I've raised this square I won't raise it because otherwise it will make the card just too deep okay so that can go onto our card now like so and then we need another piece of whisper white and I'm using happy birthday from the blossoms in bloom stamp set which you all know is my favorite and the sentiments are fab this works really well because it's not um, a scripty looking sentiment so it works great for female cards or more serious cards maybe don't know if that's the right term just snipping that with my snips and then we can put that down there so I'm just seeing what Catherine's saying Catherine you caught some of my live but you lost connection on oh, that's a shame projects looked fab thank you that's really kind of you so we have that like so so that is the front of our card now we need the inside of the card Yes, yeah, see I told you everything is behind me. 
If only you could see this craft room. There is a bath behind me because we are doing the bathroom. So, yes, I'm having to climb over things and it's very, very stressful. So this piece of white, we need to double check the size. So that is 9.9 .9 by 12.4. So let's just cut this out. And this is just so that it matches the piece on the front. 9.9, wasn't it? Okay, so then now we can bring our lovely little card back in. And this is going inside. And we can just stick that down with some of our trusty Tombow. Okay. And then we can bring in the last piece of our cogs that we cut out earlier. So this is going down here. I'm lining it up with the bottom of our piece of white. And then the easiest way to stick this down just with a bit more Tombow, line it up roughly at the bottom and then I have this stamp here which is from the A Good Man stamp set, it says it's your day, I wonder if that will fit on there, it might do, let's give it a try, so I'm stamping that in Knight of Navy. bad just let it dry a bit and then you guessed it I'm fussy cutting so I'm just following the shape of the the words around just to create a different kind of shape nearly there yay fussy cutting you didn't think there'd be a video from me without a bit of fussy cutting did you okay so we have it's your day tap off those little bits of rubbish and then this is just going on top of our cogs like so Okay, so that is our second card done for you. Um, so I could have used, I did say on Monday I would use make a happy Father's Day card. But apart from this sentiment, I don't have anything that says happy Father's Day. So we've gone for birthday cards. Um, so maybe I'll wait and give this to Dad for his birthday in a few months time. So card number two, we created these beautiful stripes, watercolour stripes, with, excuse my paint pot, this beautiful new watercolour brush. Really handy, I think I'm going to be quite obsessed with that. And we've used the Geared Up Garage set, um, the stamps and the dies, to create some of these little features. And the colours I've used this, I've just used Night of Navy, some Smoky Slate and obviously some Whisper White. So that is card number two, and card number one was over here. So this was creating a watercolour block using our acrylic block. So all I did is I dipped this in my ink pad, I coloured it in with a brush just to move the ink around and to make sure it was all nice and neat, and then I just pushed it down onto some watercolour card that I'd lightly spritzed first just to, to moisten it slightly. I have used the new foam adhesive sheets to cut out my letters. See, they're, they're raised. And I have stuck on some DSP that I've also cut out with the same dies. Added a little bit of watercolouring 
and then added birthday so the colors i've used for this i've used just jade pretty peacock and white as well and these little dots are knight of navy as is the sentiment okay so that's the one i made beforehand and that's the one we did today on on the video so that is everything from me tonight i will make sure that all these products the list of products i've used are up on my blog for you um don't forget if you're placing an order online um throughout june to use the hostess code um people that shop with me online will get a pack of enamel dots um in july as my thank you gift and that's it for me this evening so i am now off to film a tutorial for my monthly card class so that can go out tomorrow and i hope you'll have a lovely evening thank you so much for joining me tonight i've really enjoyed it. it's been nice to do something a bit different and i will see you all very very soon i hope take care thanks everyone bye